I thought I'd make a video for this one. You know me and my videos. Um, when it comes to this weapon, yeah, I've, um, I've got too much to type, so I have to do a video. Um, the bow, or it's called a quarter staff in in the Western world as well. So the quarter staff um, is an extremely dangerous weapon. It's used for close range. So the bow and arrow was used for for long range, and the sling that um, what's it called that uh, where they the sling? Yeah, I think it's called a sling where you put a rock inside a sling. They were used. Romans used those as the first line of defense the sling with the rock that's in the bible um if, if you know how to use a sling they're one of the most dangerous weapons besides the gun um that would be the first line defense then next would be the bow and arrow um the sling actually had more range than the bow and arrow um and use put in the right hands it was probably more accurate than the bow and arrow um so then you've got the bow and arrow but then yeah close range close range you've got swords and shields and stabbing implements and maces and hammers and axes and bows or quarter staffs very important weapon uh one of the most overlooked weapons um in hema h-e-m-a uh, historical european martial arts uh also in scottish martial arts the quarter staff it's a very important weapon in Scotland. It was used a lot in Scotland. I think the quarter staff, if I remember rightly, it's slightly longer than a human. It's a long weapon. It's also heavy. You use a heavy piece of wood. And if you hold it in the traditional way they did in medieval days, which is up, like upright above your head, so going directly upwards, and you swing it down onto the, the other person's head. I watched a video where they were measuring the force generated by a quarter staff, a piece of wood. And it was had m more impact than the sword. So if you have protective headgear on, the sword can sort of be deflected a little bit, um, and a lot of the impact absorbed because it's a blade. Whereas the quarter staff, it's hard to stop the momentum and the force produced by the quarter staff. More damage can be inflicted on a head that's got pr like protective headgear. Um, from a quarter staff than from an actual sword. So it was more deadly. The other thing that uh, is very good about the quarter staff, the most important weapon in the whole history um, of Western civilization, the most overlooked weapon. Um, every time you do a, 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 there's movies on warfare, like ancient warfare, they always glamorize the sword, but in actual fact, the most important weapon was the spear. The spear was a more important weapon because of the range. Firstly, um, if you have someone with a spear versus someone with a sword of sort of equal sort of skill, the spear has the advantage because of the range. You can't get in close enough with the sword because the spear has the advantage of range. The spear can be thrown. The spear is cheap to make. It's basically a stick with a blade on the end of it. A quarter staff with a pointed end. Um, yeah, one of the most dangerous weapons in our history. One of the most underestimated, overlooked weapons in our history. Um, yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. Um, it's an interesting question that you asked. I think it triggered me because i um, like to, to, to answer it because I spent a lot of time researching ancient European weapons and the quarter staff came up as one of the most valuable weapons I've seen a lot of Scottish people with kilts um, in mountain sides using the quarter staff talking about the quarter staff I've seen medieval sort of British and German uh, people that are into European combat use and teach the quarter staff it's not only you, you don't only swing down on their head there's also close combat movements you can make and they're all very very dangerous um yeah it's a really really interesting weapon it's a very simple weapon um but yeah it's used for close combat unless you put a point on the end of it a, a knife on the end of it and turn it into a spear then you can throw it um but yeah it's close close combat